Hello and welcome again. Let's talk about some more of HiGraph features. In the Apps tab, you will be able to see all the apps you integrate your project. We don't currently have any apps installed here, but if we did, we'd get a card for each one, with options to delete or modify the configuration information. There is also a button here that takes you to the HiGraph Marketplace where you will be able to browse all available integrations. We also have a webhooks feature where you can add webhooks to trigger actions. Once added, you'll see a card for each webhook here where you can edit the information, delete the webhook or view its logs. Here we have the project settings tab where you will have general information as well as access settings. Let's go over the options here one by one. This is where you will find your project ID information, where you can clone your project, and this is where you can also enable public cloning, which is when you generate a link that you will later share for others to clone the project you've created. Little pro tip here, if you work with a lot of projects that are similar to each other, you can use the cloning feature to create your own starters. This is also where you come to delete a project. Careful with this action though, because it cannot be reversed. If your project has different environments, they will be here. If you want to create different environments to have one for production and another for development, for instance, this is where you'd come to create them. Do bear in mind that free projects have only one environment, but if you are on a plan that allows more than one, this is where you will manage them. You will also be able to switch from one environment to another from here. Audit Logs is a feature that allows you to monitor changes to your project, schema, and content. This is an enterprise feature. Up next, we have Content Stages. All HiGraph projects come with draft and published content stages by default. While system stages cannot be edited, paid plans offer the possibility to add custom content stages to customize your workflow. Next, we have Locales. Free plans come with a default locale but you can add an additional one on this screen. As you can see, this project has a Spanish locale as well. If you need more locales, our paid plans offer them. The billing screen allows you to manage your subscription. Depending on your plan, you will have access to different features. Some of them you can simply upgrade into and others prompt you to contact our sales team. Access contains your endpoints, content API permissions and permanent ALF tokens. Our public content API permissions here show that we have read permissions on all models on stage published for all locales. This can be deleted or customized from the context menu here. You can also add more permissions by clicking on add permissions. You get to select if it will apply to all models or just one, and you can also select the rules. If your project does not have any set permissions, a button will allow you to easily initialize defaults. You can add permanent ELF tokens here, and if you have any already set, you can use the context menu to edit or delete them. Up next, we have roles and permissions. All HiGraph projects come with admin and editor system roles out of the box. You can upgrade your plan to get contributor and developer roles, or even to create custom roles according to your specific needs. For the roles your project already has, you would click here to assign new members. You can also click on the role to view the permissions that it has. The Members section lists the users that have already been added to this project. Here, you can see the members listed, their email and assigned roles. To invite new members to your project, you can click on Invite Members at the top right corner of the screen. You just need to provide an email and select the role from the drop-down, then click on the Invite button to send and the person will get an invitation. The difference between adding members here and on the previous screen is that this one here lets you invite people to the project, meaning they are not members yet. And this one here looks into the users who are already members of the current project and simply adds them to a role. As it's just me in this project, you can see it's just my picture here. If I click on this, it will not let me add anyone because I'm the only member and I've already been assigned to this role. But if this were a project with more members, it would offer me a list of members to select from. This was it for our HiGraph Hub walkthrough. I hope this was informative and I'll see you next time.